Hello everyone, this is Santesh Kalada from Kalada Academy. So today in this lecture, we will be discussing about how you can get a perfect on-page optimization score using Rank Math plugin. And for people who do not know what is Rank Math, Rank Math is a WordPress plugin using which you can get make your on-page optimization perfect. It's the only tool you need for making your on-page optimization perfect and you don't need to depend on any paid tools or anything. Rank Math is completely free. Though they have a paid version, you don't need to go for the paid version. You can take the free version itself. And most of you may be already using Yoast SEO plugin for your SEO on-page optimization efforts. And if you are using Yoast, I would recommend you switch to Rank Math or at least give it a try. Because I have been doing something similar. I have been using Word Yoast SEO for maybe three or four years. And, but right now I have completely shifted all my sites to Rank Math. So to get, before we get started with the tutorial, first you need to install the Rank Math plugin and one more plugin. For that go to plugins and click on add new and search for Rank Math. So I have it already installed and in your case you'll be seeing an install now button here. All you need to do is click on install now and just complete the formalities. Other than this you also need one more plugin and it's called ultimate blocks. And you can see ultimate blocks Gutenberg blocks plugin. I also have it installed. In your case just make sure that you're installing it before getting started. So once you have all these things installed, you can go to go to pages and create a new page or maybe go to post and create a new post. In my case, I have a non-optimized article already. See here, Wayanad tourist place. It's an article about a tourist place in Wayanad district in Kerala. So if I open it, click on edit and open it, you can see that I'm getting a score of 12 out of 100. And please note that if you're using an older version of WordPress, you might be getting the classic editor. You may not be getting a screen like this. All you need to do if you need to get a screen like this is just update your WordPress to the latest version and make sure that your classic editor is disabled. And even if you're using an older version of WordPress also, the steps would be kind of similar. If it's the older version of WordPress, this particular area would be under the article, not on the site. So we'll get started. So first we need to give a focus keyword. Focus keyword means the main keyword for which we are trying to rank in Google. In my case, I am trying to rank for the keyword 900 country, which is the name of that particular tourist place. So I'll just type 900 country and I'll give it as the focus keyword. I'll select that. And see, once I select the focus keyword itself, the score kind of improved to 24. I think it was 12 before. So in this tutorial, we'll be focusing on getting this score to somewhere around 90 plus. And if you move on, you can see what are the areas where you are lacking. First thing, focus keyword does not appear in the SEO title. So in the title, you need to give your focus keyword. So I'll just give my main focus keyword here. See here, I gave my main focus keyword here and it appears in the title and my score has improved to somewhere around 64 now. Now focus keyword is not found in your SEO meta description. So first of all, let me just show you what is a meta description. Whenever you search in Google, see, you'll get results like this and there's a, always, there will be a description for whatever is that link. See here in this, for this particular link, the meta description would be this area. Okay, so you need to make sure that you are including your main keyword in the meta description. And please note that it is not as SEO meta description is not a real SEO factor. But the thing is that if you give a very good meta description here, a very good description of your link here, there is a good chance people are going to click on your link instead of your competitor's link. So that means that you will get more CTR or click to rate. That is when 100 people are seeing these results, there's a good chance at least 50% of them are going to click on your link if you have a proper meta description. So we'll give a meta description. For that, I'll just copy the first line. Okay. And all I need to do is just click on edit snippet. And if I go to description, I'll have an area where I can type. If yes, 900. Country is the right for you to get a PCC 
city life now my score should have gone up and if you click here you will see the previews see here in mobile also how it is going to appear perfect so my score has kind of gone somewhat high and i'll click on update make sure that whenever you are making a change you are updating it focus keyword not found in the url see here let me just let me just show you the url for that go to settings and click on document and under permalink you will be able to see the url see here this is the url for reaching this page and as you can see my focus keyword is not present in the url i need to make sure that my focus keyword is there in the url because having keywords in the url is an seo factor it is going to affect your rankings so we'll change that under url select we'll give the main keyword I'll just change that now let me just click here and that part is also solved then focus keyword appears in the first 10 percentage of the content see a first 10 percentage may be at least this paragraph and in my case focus keyword is 900 country and it is appearing in the first 10 percentage of the content that's why I have a tick mark there Then focus keyword is found in the content yes I have used my focus keyword in my content and the keyword density you need to maintain is somewhere around one to two percentage so you'll be able to see the keyword density here i think it's somewhere here just give me a second okay see here keyword density is somewhere around 2.13 which is kind of good and as you can see my keyword is used almost 23 times in this article the only thing you need to make sure that is like you're not keyword stuffing it. That is if a human is reading your article also, he should not feel that you're just putting that keywords uh, just for the sake of rankings. So yeah, that's basically it. So always try to get a keyword density some, uh, somewhere between 1 to 2 percentage. That's recommended. So 2.37 is also 2.13 is also good. So that part is done and content is 1078 words long that's why i have only a yellow mark here if i make my content somewhere see here my content is 1078 words if i make it 1500 plus i'll be getting a green tick mark there as well then focus keyword not found in head header one header two and all see here in my article here there is a title and there are no subheadings or anything like that so i'll just try to add some subheadings and let's see how it goes and yeah how to reach why not country I'll just copy paste that and i'll just press enter and here click on this add button and choose the option heading and i'll give it as how to reach see here my score has also slightly gone up i'll also make some more changes here all these headings I'll add. Now article kind of looks organized. And I'll click on update. Found in add an image with your focus keyword as all text. So I'll try to add that. I'll just try to add an image. So maybe here I'll try to add an image. Just search for image. And I have it in my media library. If you do not have it, you can upload it. So I'll just select some image. And once you upload an image, you will have an option in the right side called all text. So here all text I'll include my main keyword. Why not? And I'll include that. 
see here my score has also slightly gone up now let me just see ur list 37 characters long that is also good see if the if your ur list kind of very big also it's kind of like it does not look good so it's always recommended to keep your urs to a short length so somewhere under 50 characters is recommended and right now i do not have any link out to external resources and add do follow links pointing to external resources and add internal links in your content so internal links means links to particular pages in your website itself so i'll just select any particular text and i'll click on this link and if you have a page in your website maybe if it is home page you can type it as home and in my case i link to some other page or what if you want to link uh, go to any particular url you can just select this and just type it here so that is one option and see here if i want to link this word to maybe some other page i'll just type i have a post about some waterfalls in wynet so i'll just select that and see here and just press the center so once i have done that itself again my score has gone to 82 and it has come in the green mark now so you are linking to other resources on your website which is glazed and you haven't used this focus keyword before that is also good so that part is also sorted. Now I need to link it to some external area, external sites. So maybe I'll just search for the Wikipedia page and link to Wikipedia. So Wikipedia. Tourist attractions in Wynat. So that looks good. and if i want to link to any other external site all i need to do is just give that link here and click on this button and again that has also we have received a green mark just for that as well see here at least one external link with do follow found in your content so all this has come to good and we have a score of 88 now we just need some more higher score so i'll just show you how you can get that and let's go to the next factors title readability focus keyword found at the beginning of seo title see here in the title we have used it your title doesn't contain a positive or negative sentiment word and your title doesn't contain a power word so these are kind of words that has some psychological effects on your readers so try to include any positive or negative sentiment word so i'll just show you what are some positive and negative sentiment words or just click on this particular link here so it will show you somewhere here they link to just give me a second yeah see here positive words you have an article in rank math which shows you how to how you can get 100 score in rank math and from that they have a link to positive words that can be used see here these kind of words you should try to use in your titles here amazing so amazingly then maybe there might be a word called let me see if best is the see here best best known so i'll try to use the word best so i'll say why not best hidden treasure perfect As, see here best hidden treasure so i have used those words and if you want to know what are the other negative words or what are the other power words you can use just check this article by rank math all you need to do is just click here and you can see it will already show you what what is the link and i will also give a link to this particular page under this video as well so here there's an amazing guide about power words you, if you open again it will show you what exactly are the power words and everything that you can use in your headline now all that is it and you seem to be using a table of contents plugin see we are already using a table of contents plugin if you remember right we have installed a plugin called 
ultimate blocks so if you just have that plugin installed itself rank math will show that you are it will show you a green check mark here but anyway you need to install insert that for that just click on add button and search for table so you'll see something called table of contents if you have ultimate blocks already installed just click on that and whatever subtitles you are subheadings you are having it will already show it in a table of contents format so I'll, if you want you can give a title here but in my case i'll just click on update and let's see it in a new tab see here this is how my table is going to appear and again if you want something to be hidden you can click this and again if you want to edit the headings and all you can click here so i'll just give a heading like this so we have set up the table of contents as well when you are using short paragraphs that that's a must thing like whenever you're writing an article always try to have short paragraphs if you check my article see here i have divided the article into very very short paragraphs so you need to create articles like that don't make it a very very long paragraph so these those are things basic common sense i guess so see if you're using short paragraphs it's easier for users to read it as well right so that's why I recommend using short paragraphs. Then your content seems to con contain contains images or videos. See here, only I have one image. If I add three or four more images, I'll get a green check mark here as well. So let me just try adding some more images. And again, I should have something in my media library. So all text, I'll give it as 900 candy, why not only? and let me just try adding one more image see here again it has come to a green check mark so maybe i'll just try adding one more image and see if it makes any difference in the scope perfect now as you can see here again i got a green check mark there as well and my score has increased to 95 now the only thing that is lacking is content so if i just increase the content length to somewhere around 1500 plus i'll na naturally get 100 out of 100 score in rank math so this is basically how you get a hundred out of hundred or at least 90 plus see i know that see most of the in most of the cases you may not be able to use this uh, power words or posty words and all in title but that's perfectly okay if you have a score of somewhere around 85 plus or 90 plus in rank math that is more than enough your on page optimization is kind of perfect so i hope that all of you have understood how to use rank math plugin to make your on page optimization perfect and if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.